Welcome to 23 Streams, and thank you for spending time here today. 23 Streams is a reference to Psalm 23 and the still waters of rest. Our prayer is to be a resource to help you connect and have a personal relationship with God. God will lead us day by day to green pastures where we can eat enough for today, and he will guide us to calm waters where we can rest and cool off. He wants to be close to us to restore our souls. After you are done, if this has been helpful for you, please like and subscribe. In today's time, we will practice Lectio Divina. Lectio Divina is an ancient prayer tradition rooted in the belief that Christ is present in the scriptures and that by reading them, it allows God to speak to us. The goal is just to create a meeting place for a personal encounter with the living God. It is intended to be emotional and formational instead of instructional. We will do a scripture reading followed by one to two minutes of quiet time. We will do three readings of the same scripture from three different translations. During the first reading, just listen. Let the scriptures wash over you and feel them. Do not think or analyze what the words are, but just feel them. Stay in the place of feeling with a calm breath during the quiet time. During the second reading, notice how you are responding to the scriptures. The Lord may highlight certain words or phrases. You may get images that come to mind, or you may have certain feelings. Focus on these highlighted things during the quiet time and offer them to God. During the third reading, pray and communicate with God and the Holy Spirit. Ask God about the highlighted things. In the quiet time, continue praying and then listening. This time, listening to the Father and the Holy Spirit instead of your body. Ask the Lord to show you how to put into practice what he has shown you. Are you being called to do or become anything? We will close this practice with a short prayer, asking God to plant and secure his words in our heart. Find a comfortable place. You can be sitting or lying down, eyes open or closed, but we find closed helps us connect. Breathe slowly and deeply and thank God for the breath that he has given you. Ask God to speak to you through the scriptures. As I read the scriptures the first time, just listen and feel the word of God over you. Psalm 11. ESV translation. The Lord is in his holy temple to the choir master of David. In the Lord I take refuge. How can you say to my soul, flee like a bird to your mountain? For behold, the wicked bend the bow. They have fitted their arrow to the string to shoot in the dark at the upright in heart. If the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes see, his eyelids test the children of man. The Lord tests the righteous, but his soul hates the wicked and the one who loves violence. Let him rain coals on the wicked, fire and sulfur, and a scorching wind shall be the portion of their cup. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright shall behold his face.
as I read the scriptures the second time, bring awareness and mindfulness to anything the Lord is highlighting and offer them to God. Psalm 11, NIV translation, for the director of music of David. In the Lord I take refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bows. They set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is on his heavenly throne. He observes everyone on earth. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked, those who love violence, he hates with a passion. On the wicked he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. A scorching wind will be their lot. For the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. The upright will see his face. As I read the scriptures the third and last time, ask God about the highlighted things and if he is calling you to anything. Psalm 11, the message translation, a David Psalm. I've already run for dear life straight to the arms of God. So why should I run away now when you say, run to the mountains, the evil bows are bent, the wicked arrows aim to shoot under the cover of darkness at every heart open to God. The bottoms dropped out of the country. Good people don't have a chance. But God hasn't moved to the mountains. His holy address hasn't changed. He's in charge, as always. His eyes taking everything in. His eyelids unblinking, examining Adam's unruly brood inside and out, not missing a thing. He tests the good and the bad alike. If anyone cheats, God's outraged. Fail the test and you're out out in a hail of firestones, drinking from a canteen filled with hot desert wind. God's business is putting things right. He loves getting the lines straight, setting us straight. Once we're standing tall, we can look him straight in the eye.
Lord, thank you for your goodness and grace. Thank you for what you have highlighted to me today. Help me to rest in the truth of your words and plant them in my heart securely. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for being here. If this has helped in any way, please like and subscribe.